Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm gonna teach you the secret to hitting punch shots. So for four and a half years, I actually lived in Kansas City when it was howling wind. So I had to master hitting punch shots. So I would hit these sometimes all day long. So there is a secret to doing this, which you want to know because hitting punch shots is a very, you know, important shot that you're going to have to hit from time to time. All right, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. There's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm gonna teach you the secret to hitting punch shots. So for about four and a half years, I lived in Kansas City. You wanna talk about windy, it is very windy there. And I'm talking 30 miles an hour every day. <laughs> like if you, got a, if you got a 10, 15 mile an hour day with wind, then that would be a very calm day. So, you know, I get there and I realize after not too long, I gotta learn you know, hitting punch shots. You know, I was okay at them, but not great. You know, I tended to pull hook them all the time. And that's what most people do, you know, they hit a pull hook when they're trying to hit a punch shot. So there is a reason you would be doing that. So let's just kind of go through a few little setup things that you want to learn doing a punch shot. And then I'll show you the secret to it. Okay, because it took me a little while to figure it out, but after I got better at it, I literally just used to hit bullets all day long, just dead straight. And it was great because I just totally kept it under the wind. And wow, you know, you, you hit it high in the wind and it's just gone. So this just cuts right through it. So that's why you want to learn this shot. All right. So with a punch shot, you are playing the ball back in your stance. So you want to play it off the back instep, forward foot. You can do your normal, you know, I got a seven iron here. You know, I tend to go a little narrower. I just like to feel a little bit more. That, that's just the position I like. I do tend to open up my stance just slightly. Okay, so now we've got the face square. Let's say it's square to our back shoe because your shoe is going to be pretty much, you know, pretty close to perpendicular. Now we're going to take this golf club. We're going to lean it forward like this. So our hands are going to be off of our... Uh, front instep, or uh, sorry, in, uh, inner thigh right here, but the ball is back here. Okay, so when I grip on, I've got basically a three knuckle grip position. So this is one instance that you would have a strong grip. All right, so right here, I do a strong grip. Now, if I go like this, if I just lifted this up and then I brought it back to neutral, you can see the club is, for me, it would be pointing at about 10 o'clock. That's an easy way that you can be checking this and making sure you got the hands far enough ahead. So you go like this and you go, okay, I'm gonna move the club to 10 o'clock, do your grip, and then just square it up to your back shoe. Okay, simple, all right? So hands are ahead. You probably know that. We're trying to deal off the club, get it going low. So I've got a seven iron. If I put my hands that far ahead, it's probably a five iron. Okay, so now, when we do the actual swing, I like to get a feeling of kind of picking the club up. So I'm kind of going a little more vertical with this swing and I feel like I'm hitting down. So this would be a shot that I actually do feel my arms. Okay, because it's more of an up and down. I'm trying to purposely hit down so that the club is really descending so I get the punch shot, okay, keeping it low uh, under the wind. All right, so you probably got all that. You probably know that. So where do we go wrong? Well, what you've got to do, and this is the secret, wherever you have your hands at setup. So let's say I set up with my hands on my inner thigh. I need to hit the ball with my hands at, on the inner thigh. Okay. Say that again. So right here, inner thigh, I go up. My hands have to hit that ball with, in that position off my inner thigh. So what happens is your average person 
does a chicken wing when they hit the ball. So you know what happens when you do a chicken wing? The grip falls behind the club head. So right here. So you do a chicken wing, grip falls behind the club head, you then close the face. And that's why if you try punch shots, you will hook pretty much every single one of them. That's what I used to do when I was growing up. You know, I was trying to learn this punch shot. I couldn't do it. Every shot I hit, I pull hooked it. You know, I wasn't doing a chicken wing, but I was definitely not returning my hands back far enough ahead. So if they came back just a hair less than that, now you close the face, you get the low hook, okay? And that is why your average person typically cannot hit a punch shot. They do a chicken wing and, you know, I'm talking 90% of the people that I teach do a chicken wing. Okay, so that's a lot of people that are never gonna be able to hit this shot. So if you can't hit this shot, it is really costing you, you know, a lot of shots on the course because this is so handy, especially on those windy days. So what do you do? Well, you gotta kind of get into the situation where if you're pulling it up like that, recognize where your hands started in the beginning. So if you get to the top, you gotta make sure your hands are well ahead of that club face. Okay, so let me just hit one for you. I'll show you what I'm doing. So right here, and I, I tend to grip down maybe just a tiny bit too, just a half inch or so. Okay, so right here, hands are well ahead. I feel like I'm picking it up. So what you want to do is you want to try a few of these, okay? Now, as you hit the shot, you want to watch your ball. If you are hitting low pull hooks, that is the telltale sign right there that your hands are not enough ahead of that ball at impact. Push fades, hands are too far ahead. So you don't have to pull them you know, you're pulling this too much, okay? So let's say pushes, push fades, and thin shots. Okay, so you're trying to gauge how much you have to bring your hands ahead by where the ball is going, okay? So you, and you can, you can actually just even practice it. You can go like this and go, okay, my hands are right here, face is shut down, you know, square to my back foot. I pick it up. And then when I hit that ball, I got to feel like my hands are going to be here, not here. See? You can see the clo face is closing. I'm just buckling my elbow. When I buckle my elbow, grip doesn't go as far forward. You get the pull hook. Okay? So just keep hitting shots over and over and over. Pull it a little more forward, a little more forward. Okay, now it's dead straight. That is the feeling that you have to get used to. Okay, once you do that, then you too will be able to hit amazing punch shots. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.